The second pair that you're going to see features Rosie Padilla. Rosie is an FFL, Intermediate Literacy Level, Second Language Learner. She has lived in the United States for eight years. She has a high school diploma from Mexico, and she has three children, ages two, three, and seven. Rosie works full time. She regularly meets her tutor, Pat Pepin, twice a week in the evening at the library. Thank you, Rosie and Pat, for coming for your progress review. And um, I got out your personal role goal map that um, when you first were, was matched with uh, Pat, um, do you remember this? She asked you these questions about what you want to learn about or be able to do and um, in these areas of home and family, work and community and for yourself. Mm -hmm. And you had said that um, you want to help your daughter with homework. Mm -hmm. And um, you also said you wanted at work, you wanted to, to write better. Uh -huh. And then for yourself, you wanted to speak better and to know the past and present tenses. Mm -hmm. Right. And are these goals um, the goals you still want to work on? Or um, have you thought of anything more? Or do you st you're sticking to these? Um, I like to keep doing that so I can, you know, remember all the time what's the rule when you learn English and the accent that you have to have. And also I have to have a better um, writing. Great. And uh, we also did, I just want to show you, um, we have a little scale here that part of this, um, the whole purpose of this progress review is to, um, one, for us to make sure that, uh, one, your goals are still the same goals that you wanted, mm -hmm. and also to ha establish uh, a beginning, a baseline when you first come in. Mm -hmm. And so we're planning to be meeting three months, mm -hmm. and then three months from now we meet again. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is um, see where you are on the scale from one to nine, one being beginning, and that it's hard for you and you need lots of help, or two, three, four, or five, intermediate. Simple tasks are okay, and you need some help with new ones or you feel you're six, seven, eight, or nine, which is advanced, mm -hmm. and you could do this by yourself. So on this scale, um, when you came in to the, uh, when you were matched with Pat, um, you had said that um, you felt that you were a two here, mm -hmm. and with your daughter, helping your daughter with mm -hmm. her homework. Um, how do you feel now that you've met with Rosie for um, these three months? Do you feel like you've um, improved in this area, or, or how would you? Oh, uh, I think um, um, like on five because I know now what we're talking about when she has a homework, and before I didn't. So now we, I know how I have to help her to do better. Homework. Your very first monthly report was um, you worked on Rose, your daughter's homework, so mm -hmm. you could help her, mm -hmm. and um, that was a highlight. And that was part. That was one of your um, pieces of your goal that you wanted to. Work yeah. On. So I think that's great. So um, right now you feel uh, you're at a like intermediate. Yeah, intermediate. Okay, mm -hmm. and. Um, also, helping your daughter with her homework and with the uh, family literacy um, kits that we give you every month through uh, with Pat. One of the high points each month is when we get your FFL packet that has the, a copy of Baby Bug for uh, Rosie's younger youngest child, and then the book for her seven-year-old. And so we go over the information in the Baby Bug and read it. And then we also read the book that you give us. And then you always also give us an, act, or an activity that the child can do. And so we go over that. And then um, Rosie said that Ruby always looks forward to getting the book and the activity. 
and so that works out really well for Pat was also telling me about a game that you also play with your that you invented mm -hmm. that you play with your children yeah. I think yeah it's um it's that game uh, that we have to say a war for the letter that um, she, has, she or I have to say the alphabet. And uh, when she or me say stop on the letter that we stop, we have to um, say a name, an animal name. And um, you've got four categories. Right? Uh huh. Let's see animal, uh huh, food, 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 name. animal. What's the third one? Name. Name. And things. Other. Thing. Other. Right. Oh, great. And so you write those down on a piece of paper? Uh -huh. So uh, when um, she said the alphabet, I said stop. And if she stopped on the letter P, uh -huh. um, she, uh, me and her, we have to um, list a name of an animal and an um, a person's name and whatever thing that start with the P, and then whoever's finished first, that's who win. That's great. It's and you, fun. That, mm -hmm. And you play it together too. Yes. Yeah. And does does Ruby enjoy it? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, she like it. In your latest monthly report, um, a highlight it says that uh, for work, your work area, mm -hmm. and your goal there is to write better. Mm -hmm. And it says here, um, you practice conversations like you have at work mm -hmm. with Pat, the two of you. And then you also um, wrote the conversation up like you do at work. Yeah, that's uh, part of my job that I have to do. So um, before I can write anything, I, I just write in Spanish, but now I can write a little bit better. <laughs> You're writing, when you wrote, write it down, like you said, uh, you practice writing up the conversation. How do you feel you're doing at that? Because um, when you came, when you met with Pat, you had said that you were a three. You felt like you were a three um, for writing at work. Um, and then with your practice, do you feel, how do you feel you are in terms of? In five. You feel like, mm -hmm. great. In so, three months, yeah. It wow, does. that's wonderful. For yourself, it says to speak better. And again, um, when you came initially to our pro program, you had said um, you're about here, about mm -hmm. a three. How about, how about now? Do you feel? With yeah, I think, um, the same for um, writing, mm -hmm. same for... Okay. I think okay. she's made a lot of progress, with really. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the, with the yes, speaking part. with the speaking. And um, it says to know the past and present tenses. Mm -hmm. how, how is that? How are you doing with that? Great. Um, now I can write and speak in the past and, you know, I know the present and the past day for now before I didn't. So that really help. That helps um, with your speaking mm -hmm. and, and writing. And your writing, great. Mm -hmm. right. So um, I think you had said also about different concepts that you also work on when you when you've come to. Um, We've used a couple of other books, like the One Hundred and One American English Proverbs, oh, okay. for some of the colloquialisms mm -hmm. that we use that Rosie hadn't heard about. Do you like this? Do you yeah. the, enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like... I'm think, sorry. No, I'm trying to think of what else we have used. I can't the remember. The Rosetta? Oh, right. We used the Rosetta Stone, okay. the mm -hmm. little computer program. Mm -hmm. Which it was easy for me. Very okay. easy for her. Great. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. At work, like for, you know, when you're writing or, or speaking, um, do you find that sometimes... You, will you bring something to Pat to, like, if you have a question, so you can mm -hmm. work on? Do you use some of the things from your work, or do you use the use the textbook, or what, what do you? Um, when I have a question about um, my work, I have a um, 
problem with the um, person's names. Oh, okay. They're like kind of funny, but um, she showed me how to pronounce it. And um, if I don't know how, then I, I told her how she pronounced the name. So we doing the spelling on the name and all that. It's mm -hmm. difficult um, because originally what we were doing is Rosie asked me to say a name and she would write it down. But there are so many c different kinds of names that I pulled off a volume of current biography and it has the name and if it is not a common name, it shows how it's pronounced. And so we have used that. But there are so many different kinds of names that that's really difficult. Mm -hmm. So we have done that a couple of times, or I think three or four times. Mm -hmm. And so we can, you know, we can continue doing that. So that that's an important part of your job is to be able to, since you're yeah, in customer because, service, uh -huh. you want to be able to pronounce the people's yeah, names. Yeah, because correctly. sometimes um, I have to call them, and I don't know how to pronounce their name, so. Um, she was telling me that um, if, I don't, if I don't know how to pronounce it, I can say uh, the, their last name, so which is more be easy for me. The last names are the easy. The last name. Okay, yeah. great. Do you ever um, role play on telephone too? Oh, yeah. do, do you find mm -hmm. um, do you, do you find talking the phone? How do you, how do you feel talking on the phone? Do you have to do that a lot at work, or is it mainly uh, personal? I have to do do it like um, personal and over the phone too. I see. When I call, I have to say, um, "May I speak to um, Miss um, Laura?" Or so um, sometimes their name is like kind of different than the mm -hmm. other ones. So um, I, if I don't know how to pronounce it, then I said the last name. And it's more easy for me because before I used to call, and if I said the name wrong, they they tell me, "Oh, you got the wrong number." So I feel like bad because I didn't know how to pronounce it. But um, now it's more easy for me to pronounce your name. I wanted to um, show you the the wheel here. This mm -hmm. um, this uh, was developed about, let's see, 1994 um, adult learners and educators and the National Institute for Literacy, um, they got together to develop this, um, we call it this wheel. It's uh, the EFF standards, which are equipped for the future. And what, what it is that they wanted to find a common language um, of standards for adults, that what adults need to, for their adult literacy and lifelong learning. And so on this wheel we have, there's 16 equipped for the future standards. And um, they're broken down and um, like this part is communication, decision making, interpersonal and lifelong learning. And um, looking on your goals here, you, we see that um, like read with understanding, um, that would be a standard that you would probably use with, with your helping your daughter with her homework mm -hmm. and also at work mm -hmm. and um, for yourself. Um, when you have here your goal to write better, um, a standard that you would use would be um, the convey ideas in writing because you want to um, you want to be able to write so your coworkers could read what you're writing and, mm -hmm. and working on that. And then um, to speak better. And here it says speak so others can understand. And, um, but we have all 16 of them here. And like guiding others, you'll be doing that with your, your child, your children. And, um, but I just wanted to show you that these are different standards do you have any questions for me? Or? I think that Rosie's made a great, great deal of progress since we first met. Yeah. And the textbook that we're using, she is a very motivated student great. and is, uh, she gets all of the questions right. So it's just a, um, she just needs to understand the words. Oh. 
Okay, great. And it seems like um, in each area, you've progressed in just three months. Mm -hmm. And um, like using the um, book kits and the reading aloud to your children. And well, we have a um, postcard that we evaluation postcard that we um, we would like you to fill out, and you know, and it's all you know addressed and stamped. So after I leave, you could. Um, fill it out. It's just mainly for feedback because we've just started this um, in January and we, we get, we've been um, using your feedback to improve this progress review. And what we're doing is our, our type this up and give it to you and so you could go over it and in three months I'll meet you both again. Okay. Very good. So, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.